Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today we are talking about how to render out a grayscale scene in Redshift using material overrides. This is an imperative part of the CG animation pipeline as it yields quicker rendering times for animation approvals. So let's jump in and see what it's all about. Okay, so today we're talking about how to render out a grayscale image with inside Redshift. So um, it's important to know if you don't already that uh, a lot of the times when you're working in a CG pipeline, um, what will happen is you'll want to get an animation approval done first because uh, you want to make sure before you spend all your time and effort lighting and rendering and spending these hours and you know tons of computing time uh, to get the final output, you want to make sure that the animation's right. So a lot of times what will happen is you'll send the grayscale render uh, to the client and uh, get them to approve that. Um, something that doesn't have reflections, it doesn't have any lighting, it's just it's just for animation, period. Okay, and so there's a couple ways to do that, and of course you can come up here and you can uh, do it the traditional way, which is just to kind of render the viewport, you know, you can um, you just make a preview if you want with Inside Cinema 4D, and essentially you're going to give them something that looks like this. Um, but I find that it's a little bit nicer to maybe spend a little extra time and a little extra effort um, and give the client something that looks just a little bit more uh, polished, I guess, um, without being too polished, without confusing them. Um, so anyway, so how do we do that? So how you do it in Redshift, it's called material overrides. And material overrides are essentially, uh, what they do is they put a Lambert shader on uh, everything in your scene. And basically Lambert shaders are just uh, a shader that doesn't have any highlights. Um, it's a pretty much a flat shader. Uh, and it, um, it just gives you, yeah, almost like a clay look. And it's actually what they use for uh, the clay look in the IPR. So um, I did a, a lesson on this um, a while back. But yeah, we have different modes with inside the uh, IPR window here. And one of them is clay render. Um, so to demonstrate, uh, right here I have this scene. And it took me 1 minute and 36 seconds. Uh, to render this scene, which is quite a long time, um, you know, if you're multiplying that times however however long, uh, you know, 30 seconds or whatever it is. Uh, and if you're just getting animation approval, it's not really necessary to have all this extra stuff here. So this is where it's nice to turn on clay mode. So let's go here, and if we go to clay mode, you're going to see it's instantly going to, it's going to do the initial pass here, but then it's going to start rendering just like a very basic, uh, yeah, flat shaded render of everything that's putting a Lambert shader on it. So what if you want to export this, you know? What if I want to export this and I want this to be what the client sees? Because um, I think, you know, over here on the right is a little nicer than seeing what's on the left with the wireframe images and everything. And you're going to see how much quicker this renders. So the first render, again, was uh, minute 36. And then the second render, we're going to see how quick it goes here. Um, the second render is falling in at 42 seconds. So you're talking half the time pretty much, you know, and that's if you're timesing that, that could be a lot of time. Um, so that's great. So how do we do this? So all you have to do, really simple, is go to your render settings and select Redshift and then go to your system tabs. And then underneath material overrides, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on so you can see. And I'm going to put it back to regular mode. And underneath material overrides, just hit enable. And as soon as you hit enable, you're going to see it does the exact same output as if I switch it to clay mode. There's nothing different. Now, you can come in here and you can adjust your, your settings if you want. Like if whatever, if it's getting blown out or something, you can, you can switch it to whatever you want. Um, but it just, yeah, it defaults to that like 50% gray. Um, and so yeah, so when I when I come out here and I go, you know, I save to whatever I'm going to save, uh, that's that's what it's going to render. Um, so that's it. Uh, this was a quick one, and um, I hope it has helped you, and hopefully it'll speed up your workflow. I will see you on the next one.